I'm Bob McNally, and today I'd like to show you a really great inshore fishing setup called a float rig or slip bobber rig. You can use it to catch virtually anything from sea trout to tarpon, snook, redfish, almost anything inshore for fishing live baits and jigs and soft plastics. It's really valuable because you can fish it anywhere in three feet of water to 40 feet of water or even deeper. Here's how we go about setting it up. All right, first thing to do with a float with a float rig is you need a pretty good sized float. It looks a lot larger than what you think you might need. An 8 to 10 inch long float is about right, mainly because you're going to be fishing this sometimes 50 to 100 yards away from where you're actually standing or casting. The first thing you do is run your fishing line through a bead, a plastic or glass bead that has a hole through it. You run the fishing line through the cork and another bead is attached to the line there. So you have a bead above and below the float. The fishing line is then tied to a cigar shaped type sinker and now you have a leader that's probably three to four feet long and it's tied to either a bait hook that can be used with a live shrimp or a mullet or in this case a soft plastic shrimp that's also an excellent bait to use for this rig. The real key to the slip bobber rig is tying a slip knot that goes onto the fishing line. You make an overhand knot with three to five wraps through the open loop when you trim this knot close, leave a little tag end to it to each side, which helps this knot jam against the, the glass bead above your float. Where this knot is positioned on the fishing line will determine how, de how deep the bait is fished. And that's pretty much it. It's a very, very simple rig. And uh, next we're going to show you how to fish this.